I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us by His grace, and by that special grace, we will keep on going. We will not give up. We will fulfill the purpose and the destiny that God has entrusted to our lives. I tell you, my dear friend, the God that we serve is a good God. The God that we serve is a God who never sleeps, He never slumbers and He is always fighting for us. Your case is ever before Him. He knows what is going on and when it is happening and He is preserving your life in the present moment. He is preserving you so that whatever trial, whatever challenge may come up against you will not consume you. My dear friend, I've got a special message for you today and the title of my message is There's Nothing to Worry or Be Afraid About when you have God on your side. Now, my dear friend, something I want to say is we should be at peace as born again believers, knowing that we have God, knowing that we have a God who we can rely on, knowing that we have a God who answers our prayer, knowing that we have a God that when we call out to Him, He answers with fire. He does amazing things. My dear friend, I want to ask you a question. Why must you worry? Why must you be afraid when you have God? When you have a God who is so great, who is so magnificent, who is so wonderful. In fact, the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? If God is on our side, if God is on your side, my dear friend, you are on the winning team. It doesn't matter if everyone else is against you. It doesn't matter if people have turned their backs on you and walked away. If God is on your side, you are on the winning team. So there is nothing to worry about. There is nothing to be afraid about. All we have to do is trust God. I want to read to you from the book of Psalms chapter 121 from verse 1 to 7. It puts the protection that we have that God has afforded to us into perspective. It makes it clear for us. It says, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. My dear friend, God will watch over your life. When you serve such a God like the God that we serve, there is nothing to worry about. There is nothing to stress about. You can be sure and certain that the outcome will be good. You can be sure and certain that whatever the trial that may come up your way, whatever the enemy that may come in your way, whatever the enemy that can oppose you, whatever may come up and challenge your faith, God will help you through. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 91 from verse 14 to verse 16, it says, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Furthermore, in the book of Psalms chapter 23, it makes it clear. It makes it clear to us that God is with us and is protecting us. It says the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for His namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. My dear friend, you might be walking through a dark valley, but I want to tell you that God is with you and He's going to see you through. You might be walking through a dark valley and you might feel like it's the end, but it is not the end until God says it's the end. And if Jesus has said yes to you, then nobody else can say no, not even the devil. He cannot say no and he cannot stop what God sets in motion in your life. So trust God, believe him and you will make it through. I want to share one more scripture, then we're going to go into a time of prayer. And it's from the book of Psalms chapter 27. 
It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who stumble and fall. Did you hear that, my dear friend? It is my enemies and my foes who stumble and fall. Not you. You will not stumble. You will not fall. You will keep on going because you have put your trust in God. You are a child of God as you have given your life to Jesus and you are walking in Christ as you are walking this journey, as you are running this race, the Christian race, you are running in such a way to win the prize. As you are going on, you will succeed. God will fight for you and all those who stand up against you and accuse you falsely, all the accusations will fall to the ground because God will vindicate you. Whatever you might be going through right now, trust in God, hold on to God, don't move away from God. The worst thing that you can ever do when you're going through a hard time is to move away from God. It is so bad when you are far away from God and you are facing a hard time. It is better to be closer to God in the hardest times of your life than to be further away. So whatever you do, don't move away from God. So many people make the mistake and they say, why is God letting this happen in my life? And they walk away and things never change for the better. Had they just stayed a bit longer, had they just pressed on a bit more, they would have stood the test of time and they would have come out shining. My dear friend, I encourage you today, come out shining. Keep on going, do not give up. No matter what the devil may throw you away, keep on going and refuse to give up your faith in God. Believe in God and He will never let you down. Now in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. And even as we begin to pray, we're going to begin with some praise. We're going to praise God in our own words. I want you, wherever you are, to just lift up praises to God in your own words. Just tell Him how much He means to you. Tell Him who He is to you. And even as we discern the presence of God, then we'll go into a time of prayer and God will do something amazing. So in saying that, my dear friend, begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words. Father, You are our God and we praise You. We lift up your name. There is no other God like you. You are the one who delivers us. You are the one who comes through for us. You are the one who is with us when everybody else has left us. You are the one who is with us when all our friends have turned their back on us. You are the God who fights for us day and night. You never sleep, you never slumber. And we give you praise. We give you praise for your goodness. We give you praise for your mercy. We give you praise that you are such a good God and you intervene in all that we're going through. You intervene and change the situation around for the better, like you're going to do today. We give you praise and we thank you for all that you're going to do in my dear friend's life. Wherever my dear friend is, whatever my dear friend is going through, let your power, the power that is available in Christ to all who believe, the power that is in your word, the power of your precious Holy Spirit, let it be released to create a divine impact and receive all the glory even as you do so, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God, and I know like I know as we pray today, God is going to do something amazing, and your life will never be the same again. Now, we're going to begin to pray, and even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is just lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me, Holy Spirit. Help me not to worry, help me not to be afraid, but help me to put my trust in God, knowing that I will make it through. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement because where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. Furthermore, where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established and your deliverance, your miracle shall be established. You shall receive a touch from God. In saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever there's any worry, wherever there's any fear, because of the situation that my dear friend is going through, whatever it might be, it might be a situation of health, it might be a situation in the workplace, it might be a situation of court cases, it might be a situation of the business not doing well, it might be a situation in the marriage, it might be a situation in the relationship, it might be a situation in the community, it might be a situation in the church. Whatever that situation is, Lord, you know it. You see, my dear friend, you see your dear son, you see your dear daughter, wherever they are, 
and whatever they are going through, you see it and you know it and you are intervening. Lord, Father, I pray, change the situation for the better. Change the situation and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater altitude in you. We give you praise and we thank you that my dear friend's life will never ever be the same again. We give you praise and we thank you that even as we pray today, something is happening, something is changing, something is moving. Things are beginning to fall into place and things will never be the same again in my dear friend's life because you are changing it for the better. Never to go back again. Never to go back in that situation again. Never to get back into such a situation. Father, if the mindset needs to be changed of my dear friend, let the mindset be changed so that my dear friend may be blessed so that my dear friend may be blessed and highly favored, so that my dear friend may taste and see of the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. I pray this in Jesus' name. Let the blessing come, but let it come with no sorrow, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Our God is a gracious God, my dear friend, and He has heard our prayer. It doesn't matter when you watch this video and where you watch this video. Distance and time is not a barrier for God, and He shall intervene in your life. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, shalom and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.